Hi students, all of you welcome. Welcome to Sunil Engineering Academy. I am Sunil Kumar Bandar. Students, in this chemistry MCQs, we have completed one session on acids, bases, and salts. Still, we have pending some questions on the topic. So now we are going to discuss those. Okay. Uh, let me check up to which we have completed. All these we have completed in the previous. Now we have to start from this question. Okay, all of you ready? Students, I already told uh, so many times. Don't skip the session just to buy opening. Okay, opening and skipping means you may not get anything. If you follow two to three sessions, then only you will get. Okay, so now coming to the first one. If you have not watched the previous, that means theory session, uh, you can try for those also. Just click on the playlist, you can find out. Okay. So acid rain is caused due to pollution of atmosphere by oxides of acid. First of all, what is this acid rain? Acid rain is nothing but if rain water pH, rain water pH is less than 5.6. Rain water pH is less than 5.6. Then you can say that rain is acid rain. Rain is acid rain. Why the pH is going to be reduced? We know very well rainwater uh, is a pure water, pH is uh, exactly 7. But why the rainwater pH is reducing 5.6? That means in the atmosphere we have so many elements are there. Correct or not? So, due to those elements, uh, the pH of rainwater is going to be reduced. Okay, that means nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide. So whenever they mix with water, what is happening? Then H2O plus SO2 may be forms H2SO3 or H2SO4 depending upon the molecules. And whenever this water react with nitrogen dioxide, it may becomes HNO2 nitrous oxide or nitric oxide HNO3 those are nothing but acidic nature correct the sulfuric or sulfurous nitric or nitrous oxides are nothing but uh, acids so that means those pH is very nearly uh, equal to zero that means so whenever coming to water is seven and these acids uh, having nearly equal to one or zero so that means uh, uh, by mix it together, the, those pH becomes less than 5.6 and that uh, rain is considered as acid rain. So that is due to oxides of nitrogen and sulfur. Okay. Oxides of nitrogen and sulfur. Very easy question and very, very important question. Okay. So due to this acid rain, what will happen whenever this acid rain is fall on some famous uh, uh, Taj Mahal, then color of Taj Mahal. Uh, is reduces whenever it fall on the sea okay then it is uh, very harmful to the creatures uh, uh, in the sea that is like fishes dolphins and all those highly affected why because uh, that is if they drink that water those acid levels will be changes okay so then that they have the digestion problems okay now coming to the next one, pH value of acid. I already said pH of acid is less than 7. pH of acid is less than 7. In the pH scale, I have given in detail. If it is a 7, pH is 7 means neutral. Whenever 0 to 7 are acids and 7 to 14 bases. Correct. Generally, pH of battery acid. What is the acid present in batteries? That is nothing but H2SO4, na, king of all acids. So, that is very nearly equal to 0 to 1. So, answer is option A. pH of uh, stomach acid or gastric acid. Stomach acid or gastric acid. What is that? Hydrochloric acid, HCl. It is also very, very strong. 1.2 to 2. pH of lemon juice. Lemon juice, 2.2 to 3.4. So citric acid is present. Urine. Urine pH is varies from 
6 to 7.5. So answer is option B. Human saliva. Human saliva is a slightly acidic. Slightly acidic. So less than 7. That is uh, very nearly equal to 7. That is 6.7. Very, very important. Average pH of human saliva is 6.7. Okay. Average pH of cow's milk. I already told that cow's milk also slightly acidic now. Slightly acidic. 6.4. Okay. Uh, pH of antacids. I already told antacid, magnesium, hydroxide. It is a medium base. Medium base in the sense having pH of 10 to 11. So answer is option B. Sea water. In the sea water, it is taste is like a very salty. That means so many salts are there. So due to the salt, that means very nearly equal to seven. That is nearly equal to seven means eight. Okay, so that is basic in nature. Basic in nature. Okay, so many salts. There is sodium. We have sodium salt, magnesium salts, calcium salts. So that means these are metals. Metals are basic in nature, na. So it is also slightly basic. So answer is option B. pH of acid rain approximately. I already told whenever the pH is less than 5.6, then we can say that rain is acid rain. So answer is option B. Coming to the next question. Human body works within the pH range of our human body having so much of blood. So blood pH is 7.35 approximately that is 7.3 to 7.4 so our human body works on the pH of slightly basic 7 so in the order of 7 means 7 to 7.8 okay so pH of human blood is dash slightly acidic highly acidic slightly basic highly basic just now I said now pH is 7.3 to 7.4 that is slightly basic now slightly answer is option c tooth decay starts when the ph of mouth is lower than very repeated question so whenever our ph is less than 5.5 our mouth ph is less than 5.5 then there is a chance of tooth decay. So answer is option. Very, very repeated question. As H plus and concentration increases, what happened to the pH value? I have given in detail in the theory session now. As H plus ion concentration increases, acidity increases. Acidity increases means what happened to the pH? pH becomes very near to zero. That means pH value is decreases from 7 to 0. Correct. And I have given the formula pH is equal to minus log H plus or log 1 by H plus. That is inversely proportional. As H plus ion concentration increases, pH is going to be decreases. That means acidity increases. Plus ion concentration increases, pH value is decreases. So answer is option B. And pH value increase from 7 to 14. What will happen to 7 to 14? It will become more basic. Okay. That means uh, as OH minus ion concentration increases, its pH becomes 7 to 14 increases. That means basic nature increases so both are directly proportional here 7 to 14 means increase of oh minus ion constant okay an and sting can be treated with a dash which will neutralize the effect of chemical injected by the and sting into our skin choose the correct option from the following to be filled in the blank space Whenever so many students are reading this question, they will simply give the answer as with an ionic acid or formic acid, which is wrong. Okay. Read the question carefully. They are not asking 
what is the acid present in and sting if they are asking the question what is the acid present in and sting you can give methanoic or formic both are same okay so in and sting we have formic or methanoic acid which is harmful to our skin correct then how you neutralize that effect how you neutralize the formic acid how you neutralize this formic acid we have to give the base correct by using base strong bases are harmful to our human body i already told okay like strong acids are harmful are harmful in the same way strong bases are also harmful so we go with some medium base or weak bases so here we have two bases Castic soda is NaOH, pH value is 14. Strong. We may not recommend strong base. So baking soda having pH of 9. So it, can, it may be weak base. So that is recommend. Okay. So baking soda. So if you, that is, uh, anting is. Uh, injected some chemical that is formic acid how you neutralize this one by using the weak base that is baking soda that is baking soda okay i think all of you got it okay okay students in the next session we will discuss the remaining questions Till we have one more session on this acids, bases, and salt. Okay, in that we may complete all the. Okay. Okay, students, thank you so much for watching. Take care. All the best, guys.